Come on in this house. Welcome back to the Naval Black Podcast. This is Big Boy the Boss, aka the Money Quarterback. Great episode last week, man. Shout the man up, man. Episode 67, man. We're going to dedicate this one also to Mr. Raffy. Polo 67, man. LLTV, man. Long live they run bowels, man. What up, Devin? Man, when it comes to chasing your dreams, anytime is the right time. Shit might make you wealthy for a lifetime. I'm from South Carolina. What's up, Swag? What is up? What's up, man? Swag in the building. Swag in the mother trucking building. I'm in the building. Hey, what is normal for a spider? It's chaos for a fly. I'm a spider. Eight on them. I'm at you. Check it out. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what anyway, fuck? but no, that's a real statement though, man. Cause I, I just live in- had, what's up, everybody. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> what's up, everyone now? But now, what y'all been doing? What's going on this week, man? Man, I've been just hey working hard, grinding, gigging out here, man, trying to find a way to get this paper without being on nobody clock. That's all I've been doing. For real though, man. Me, same thing, man. Just gig, gig man, man over there. A gig of the year over here, man. The road right there. Yeah, I be, I be on the road, man. Trucking, you man. Get a year four times in a row. <laughs> get, get a year four times in a row, my right, dick. You do know it. <laughs> she still working for you though. What the flow's looking like? I'm just trying to get jobs and shit like that, though. I, I'm supposed to be doing my aunt crib or whatever, but other than that, I need to um, like you know, brand myself and like really mm-hmm. like push out more content. I got the content. It's all about pushing it out. But I be on the road so much, man. I be gigging, man. But like I said, you have money coming in from all kind of ways. I've been getting calls about the diabetes test strips and shit like that, you know? You just trying to get money. You said you only got one call. You got more calls flowing in. Now. Yeah, yeah, this week or whatever. <laughs> Don't do it even send me pictures of what he had, you did? <laughs> so well, I man. hit up D or whatever. That's why I say, I just need to put out more signs or whatever in more locations and get more calls. That's literally what it is, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody that want to sell their diabetes test strip, they're just like, shit, I see a sign on the side of the road. It's a number. They always call and be like, so what's the price you're uh, buying them for? I'm like, what you got? You know? <laughs> I didn't yeah. know what you got first. I can't right. even give you a price, but it's tight. Just, just to know, like, I put out a sign and people actually calling that number, you know? So you it money. actually do work. You know, I ain't make no money from it yet because I ain't actually got no test strip, but I have talked to people about getting test strip, you know? So like I say, it's a a working situation because people have called. Once you get calls, that's all you need, customers. And you see them signs sitting by stop signs out the side of the road all the time. But like, if there ain't no shit that you buying, then you don't need to call. But it's people like that, diabetic strips though. Yeah, <laughs> need I want to sell them. Oh shit, now that you mention it, let me call I this got, number real quick. Bro. I got something to sell, you know, let me make this quick money because it's not like you praying on poverty. You, you praying on a profit in a way, you feel me? Because like, People want to sell, I can buy, and I can sell also, you feel me? So it's just like anybody doing any type of business. Walmart do the same thing. Yeah, I know. You sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I go to sleep easy every night because I'm getting this money. Hey, either way, if I was selling cocaine, I go to sleep easy. Hey, it's my fault you <laughs> snorting cocaine. I'm just selling it. Like yeah. Alka Della Hoya last night. Oh, Alka Della Hoya last night was too lit on goddamn. Y'all saw Jake Paul fight? I ain't see it. It was last nah. night. Yeah, Jay Paul had not on uh, that MMA fight out in the first out. round. Not about the first round. Hey, Jay Paul, the problem, man. It's just so funny, like Snoop up there talking to him, like, man, you that motherfucker, man. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, Snoop, the whole time, like, I put two tickets on uh, Jay Paul. Soon Jay Paul, like, give my motherfucking money, uh, yeah. Dana White. Give my motherfucking money. I just like a nigga, boy. I don't give a damn about this fight. Give my money, man. Oh, my give money, my money. Man. Yeah, I let everybody know I want my motherfucking money, man. Problem child. So Jake a problem for real. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wow, I don't man. I don't know if I want it with Jake, man. And not in the boxing ring, man. Jake, cause Jake be working though. out. Jake be working out though. Jake yeah. must got some power though. He do got power. You saw how he knocked his ass out? But, uh, but was it some fake knockout where he like, man, let me take this 500 k and keep it moving. Man, if I train for a month, I'll whoop Jake Paul ass, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just saying like, uh, I ain't saying that. I'm saying the dude that took a dive, <laughs> I'm saying he a UFC fighter. He got paid five hundred k. So I feel like that 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 um hit that Jake Paul hit him with wasn't even that hard. He just kind of said that like it was it was a good hit. Now he was looking like an old school fighter. You saw how he was. He wasn't yeah. ready, man. Man, y'all saw that slap. Y'all see our slap boxing match. That's well, shit. I know y'all like, weak as fuck. That, dog, that dude, the white dude, got his ass pummeled when he got hit with that hand. Now you, you saw it before. I must yeah. saw like the first part. I saw the whole fight. 
Nobody want to watch no slap boxing. Yeah, it was like on slap between the fights or whatever. Like um, E forty, Too Short, Ice Cube, and Snoop Dogg had performed their songs or whatever. And then they called themselves the Westmore, like uh, like like Mount Rushmore. No, Mount Westmore. Westmore. Yeah, yeah, Mount Westmore. And like um, they were doing that. Doja Doja Cat had came and performed, and like um. And also, like on the head, did like a slap boxing match or whatever, and like these we dudes just slip over there, don't they? Spicy, so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I see a spicy right now. Let me let me see my phone hook up to the on. Oh, no, it's just, it just coming at go, man. I don't yeah, know what's good. Up to your Wi Fi. But yeah, anyway, my Wi-Fi ain't the problem right now. What's the problem? Here? Let's go in and um get to what you know. We had to come nah. back and talk about this week, man. No, we won't know what they did this weekend because they had a lot going on in the oh, eight. Right, it's Sam Mofo, ain't it? Well, I had a busy week. Y'all don't sell my phone? It's a 404. Or the, or the 6 seven, eight. It's 770. Oh, okay. I'm wrong all yeah. the way around. No, you know it's just 404, then it's 770, and then 678. Mm-hmm. Oh, 704 is Charlotte. Yeah, they don't even do 470 in now, though. Man, I got so many people overpopulated. So, you know, they're yeah. making out. But yeah, now, nah, so you, my kids, y'all know. I was about to say, y'all know, but everybody don't know my kid. I got two kids. Excuse me. One just turned 13. On the 15th, my little man just turned two on uh yesterday or whatever. So, you know, that's why I was over here stuffing my face. His birthday was yesterday? So, yeah, Juice's birthday was yesterday. Ain't he told days? me his birthday was the six. No, I, I said, <laughs> I said, no, I said, um, I thought, I said the twins' birthday. Oh, okay. Ain't the twins' birthday the 16th? What twin? Um, 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 Sweet Pea. Mariah Brothers? Yeah. yeah no, nah, there's the 17th too. Oh, oh damn. Juice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why I was saying it because like um all the like all the birthdays just all together it's so crazy to me that's so wild like yeah. everybody like, like my yeah. daughter she like all my like I got three brothers they birthday all on the seventeenth two like, days same, after mine same that's day wild dog that's wild hell, such, hell, dog. such a that's small like the world. world energy right like the yeah. synergy mm-hmm. in the world. You know, mm-hmm. that's some crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, like, I'm going to let y'all go back and go. But, like, yesterday I was at the football game or whatever. And, like, uh, I'm there or whatever. And, like, think about this. Like, um, so, like, Jamal, you know, the Jamal Bryant. And, like, yeah, the, her her mama was there and Jamal daddy was there. So, like, grandparents to the same key was at a game looking at two different players from two different teams. And both of these teams are in two different states. And they how, they how all this happened, they meet up in the same location. Like, how, how, did, that, that, how did it even happen like that? You know, like. It's just crazy to me because it's such a small world, man. When when you're so close to everything, and like they they both live in the same town that's not in Charleston, you know? It's pretty <laughs> yeah, crazy. Well, yeah. Long way from Charleston, really. Long way, but that was pretty crazy to me. But y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all did with the kids. I seen your yeah. daughter in the limo. Yeah, but what we, we say, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and so, like you know, so me and my me and me and you you said her name earlier. We co-parent. And so, you know, we did, a, she did a party for Mariah uh, on the 15th for her birthday. And so we went down there and did that. So, you know, it was all about Mariah. And then, you know, two days later, I had one up here in Atlanta for OJ. And Mariah came, you know, she had gifts and everything here too. So it was just, you know, family, man. You know, we big on family. Y'all know that, uh, especially, you know, with, with us dealing with what we're dealing with. with Hell the yeah. And shit. Oh, shit. It bring, it bring us closer together as family. So, yeah, just being a damn grown ass man, man, it shit feel weird to be grown. You yeah. got two kids. Just grown. Man, birthday party. <laughs> I know. Shit that you used to see the grown people doing, now you that nigga doing that shit. Right. That was always- yesterday. Like, I get, I get here yesterday, the bouncy house in the back, the canopy set up, the table, the cake, the gifts, and little toy sets you can play beer pong with. Uh, what is it called? Ladder toss. Yeah. Ladder all type of shit. I'm out there yesterday. I'm looking at all this shit. I'm like, this nigga done turned into super dad, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to be, because it's for the yeah. kid. Yeah. It's for the it, kid. It's just your turn to be the adult. Yeah. Like, that man, one thing your I, family, it's time for them to have their fun. And so crazy. You think about it as a parent, whatever that, because parents always, like, have enough to make it happen for their kids' birthdays and stuff. You know, you got to do that, because, like, it's your <laughs> kid. The, like, you got to see them smile. That be the thing that I damn appreciate the most, you know, like, with life and, like, going back to my mom is, like, she made me to be the type of person to where I'm at right now in life to where it's like, I can't afford to be it. Cause like you said, a lot of, I remember growing up when she couldn't afford cause I'm the older brother, my sister gone. She like, look, we gonna, I'm gonna get, um, you older now. You already know what's going on. I'm gonna just make sure I get gifts for, um, for your little brother. Mm-hmm. Why, you know, cause town hall. Yeah. yeah you stay so working. She put, 
Right. So she put me in the mindset or the position in life to be like, nah, you ain't got to do that. You know, you can make sure both of your kids have their own day or yeah, big exactly. You ain't got to like, you know, and so like it, the whole time I'm doing the party, I'm just damn thinking about my mama like, damn, right. look at my mama. She ain't here, but when you look around, it's all. But uh, she, they don't say she's there though, because like damn, like the impact she gonna she gonna leave on y'all, so she gonna always be there. And all that wouldn't yeah. even be there without y'all, mama, because y'all wouldn't be here. right. And it's like the impact she leave on every single person, because it be like she my mama, but it's people here that ain't related to her, and they like, damn, she the last conversation I had with her it was like this, or it was like that, you yeah. know, just yeah, yeah. The impact that she leave on her fucking is crazy. Yeah. So and that's it's how crazy. it's easy to be like, damn, she's still here. It don't feel like she ain't here. You just ain't here physically. Yeah, physically, like, but like spiritual and all that energy never goes away. Like, you got the memory of it. Like, that's yeah. all. My sister looks just like it. You say, yeah, you feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's real though. It's crazy. The memories though. And like, but on top of that, like, it's just like, in my, I, I forgot what I was about to say, but it's just so crazy to be like, the situation, like, how that make you want to be like such a better dad to like juice, to passion. Like, cause like, you just want to cherish every single moment, right? Yeah. I already that, know. And you realize like she did her job though. It's like, like he was saying, like she might have not had the means to be able to do it back then, but she raised me in a way to where I'm gonna have the means. That that's part of her job. Like that's what mm -hmm. you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to pass it off to your kids. You might not be able to pass them off nothing financially, but if you planted a seed into them when they was younger, if they grow up and that seed grow them into a flower, you did your part. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's all. Now I'm saying that and like I said, you did your duty. To, as, as a mom, and like I say, obviously she did. Y'all, you know, none of y'all been out here on the owner, but like you know that is the police radar and none of that stuff, you know. Yeah. So like, hey, you know that is it. Well, well, you should be you showing your age, boy. Your age. The police radar. <laughs> police, police radar. But right. like I, was, on the but like I said though, man, let's get back to like to like talk about some stuff that happened on last week podcast, just to clear it up because hey, we got put some stuff. This ain't no rap podcast, man. We just be talking, man. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, about what? Go ahead about what? Oh, you talking about about it? But yeah, it's crazy. It, it was funny to me because, like, talking about baseball rappers, I don't listen to rap. I listen to most podcasts, so I don't really listen to no rap. So it ain't like I don't listen to just baseball rap. I don't really listen to too much rap. I mean, if you Drake or something, nah, I'm gonna check you out. But it's just like I listen to people like I know, like I listen to Gooch. I listen to his um uh, album because that's my brother or whatever, you know. But I'm trying to think about anybody in Baseball besides Dappy album I don't listen to like fully and like continue to listen to it because like I just don't listen to music like this. Yeah, Whenever I mean, ask the question of the like, top five, like it ain't really top five because five people ain't really like did nothing in rap as far as like you remember they shit. Like Long Hat don't care, even though we were in like nothing as rappers or whatever, people did know that song. Yeah, and like the way I feel about it is. Everybody ain't gonna have no flowers for you. You looking for flowers for me. <laughs> if I ain't in tune, I ain't in tune. You know what I'm saying? That don't necessarily mean you ain't shit either though. Like, just because I ain't put you in no top five. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just not in tune, man. But if you feel like your shit rocking and there's other people around you that feel like your shit rocking, you just need to focus on what they say. You ain't finna take no advice from me. Like, I, I ain't listening to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just listen to podcast, like you said. Like, a lot of people ain't get named though. We only named what one two or two people. people. Yeah, yeah. And, and both of the what, people was in the room. And the that was the was problem. In the room. Right. But like, <clears throat> not to cut you off, bit, but like, the um boot up because Devin was a part of Cloud Nine. You know, mm -hmm. and this is my little brother. So yeah. it's like, boot up was a hot song when they played boot up. Boot up was on fire, Can't and I don't get that from them. But it's just like, at the time when we talking about this, we talking to man up about man up and giving man. Up they flowers mm -hmm. and I'm dread squad so of course I'm gonna say myself you know <laughs> yeah but I'm still humble enough to be like I put myself second I ain't yeah. I, like and everybody know I'm the cockiest person I would be like shit we better than man up but when we talk about some music and lyrically I feel like as a group they was better yeah as far as like, you know with, with rap yeah they was more advanced like, yeah they came out the gate gate they, firing they had like we had a mixtape out but they had they shit in the store yeah that one yeah Eight firing and like that's one thing like if you is a rapper or was a rapper you understand like a lot of people when they first start it do be trash though mm. but if you just keep working like you gonna yeah. run into something but them boys came out the gate fire yeah yeah we were rapping that so shit I, before we was rappers yeah, <laughs> you know? like you gotta it <laughs> yeah you feel me like they was there I already said, though, i was in cloud nine like i got a song on that cloud nine tape it's me Duffy, and Ant. And it was niggas from that side of town that have been like, boy, at first I, I listened to your verse and like, I wasn't fucking with it. But then I listened to it again and I'm like, 
Well, this nigga saying some shit. And then, like, every time I be in Leesville, them niggas be like, hey, boy, that song you got on the tape, like, that shit was hard. So it's like, you got to know I ain't hate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and like, me personally, like, when, like, it was a different when they, um, Mike P, um, posed that question or whatever. It's like, we took it, me personally, I took it here talking about the people that's in Baseburg, not the people that's from Baseburg, because, like, mm-hmm. like I say, Dappy, like, I was talking to, um, Chantal about this, because she's like, she know for a fact, she like, cause she look, she listens to it or whatever. She was saying like, I know for a fact if you like, you ain't mentioned Dobby. She's like, you, I can look at it from like, you ain't mentioned Dobby. That's hypocritical. Cause like, I know for a fact you listen to Dobby music all the time. You stay looking at his videos, and I, I stay listening to Dobby music. Like, I'm a big supporter of his music. It's like not that I um forgot about Dobby. I just didn't. I, I, I they then they they in the A now. So I I want to. I was thinking about people that's in baseball right now currently. They're just rapping. Cause I, I listen to Dobby all the time. I literally remember with Big Trey on the podcast. I literally was just rapping his music on the podcast, but only people only see what they only they want to see, you know. So I support everybody from the bird. Like I, I had listened to um Roller was in a text message chain with us or whatever, and he had sent me um thirty um album South of the Year. I listened to that this week because I want to support people when I know about it. But you hey, know, I mention every time we talk about do. not to cut you off, but every time we talk about baseball rappers, I always mention thirty. Always, yeah. you always 30, do. You know, but I could tell like thirty been working for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Here's somebody that's a vet when they rapping like you could tell thirty been doing this for a while. You know yeah, what I'm that was I, always. I, I, I make swear. music, so I listen. I listen. To, I listen to all genres of music, and so everybody from the bird that's putting out music, I probably done heard theirs. If like if, it, if they putting it out, you know, if they saying like, "Hey, I'm putting some music out." If I see it, I'm gonna click on it and listen to it. Yeah, and, but- I, and, and hey, I. 30, I, I ain't like his shit at first, but the mm. last shit I, I heard, I liked it. And I, and I tell people, like, nah, that shit right there was hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I liked it, what I heard, and that's why we like, we had Big Trey in the pocket. That's why I, I'm, I'm a big fan of what he got going on. Cause like, that's how I, that's how I hear like local music from like his page. Cause I don't really see no videos yeah. from no other page. Cause like, ain't, ain't the most person that's just gonna be going to find your little audio. Like, you, you said, you show me a visual, I might look at the visual. You said audio? Find your good audio. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you said audio. <laughs> well, I don't know. I got yeah, man. Shout hey. out to Trap No Your Camp, Wavy Boy Camp. Shout out to Dirty. Uh, who else? I don't hey. even want to name people because hey. you leave one person off. There's hey. so many though, like yeah. Jock, uh, Jock Montana. Yeah. Um, Jocko. Uh, I don't mm-hmm. know if TP still rap for the Cloud Nine. TP like, for the um, uh, like you say, Trap well, No Your Wavy Boy. Boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, Bam, Bam just got mm-hmm. home. He. Him and Thirty still be doing music. Wildlife, stuff. music. Wildlife. Um, shit, Ant. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's so Don't. many of them. Like, uh, and with all the people that we were just naming, we still probably left ten of them off. Yeah. So um, it's just another we, controversy. And but guess like, what? Uh, Tonio or or um Dappy, they ain't in Baseburg. But yeah. like. Yeah, Dappy, Dappy was at my house yesterday. Cause yeah. like you know our kids around the same age, and me, yeah, and, y'all, y'all know how me and Dappy is. You know, so yeah. it's like, nigga, I'm gonna invite you to the crib. Whether you know. You go on my phone, your album gonna be on my phone just because I ain't say your name. Shit, I ain't say, I ain't say a whole lot of other people's name. You know, mm-hmm. like that's what I'm saying. Like at the same time, like with Dobby, I hit Dobby up too. Dobby, hey, you wanna have a convo? Let's have a convo. Don't run away from the convo. If you got want to have a convo, let's you do it. Because... I ain't even think about it. Like, well, it, it'd be better in studio, but I ain't even think about like I was gonna record here. I'm like, shit, I should have called that nigga to come over here today. Right, Dobby should have been sitting right here instead of me. <laughs> now you, you know you need to be here too, cause like, you the four <laughs> member of the pod. Well, when when well, Jeremy the camera man, he hey, the number two. Fuck that podcast, man. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I had to share fuck the podcast. Fuck the podcast, man. Hey, they ain't fuck said what we wanted to say. Man, y'all remember last year though? Yeah, man, that went that, that went towards me. Fuck that podcast. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all remember last year they were doing like some some lunch table like shit with like they were putting people at tables and stuff like that. That time I did rap know, groups in baseball. Yeah, rap group. They had did a table like that about baseball rap group, and we wasn't on it, but you thought we gave a damn about that. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Did you hear anything from us about that? No, why? I get money, I'm not a rapper, I don't care about that. I don't need them type of accolades, I need money. You know, <laughs> you know. I can't think about haters because I'm going so much onto my dreams. Haters can't stop my dreams from happening and let they shoot me dead, but pray the Lord don't happen, you know, that's the only way you stop me. You know, that's really, cause like haters don't do nothing for me. They don't pay my bills. Yeah, I don't, you can't see haters if you damn doing what you, Exactly. I don't even think about haters. I literally probably got zero haters in this life because I don't deal with people that they hate on me. You know, I don't ever really post what I got or what I don't got. Well, you I'm just 
you got mm-hmm. some haters for sure. But I was I was talking to um everybody got some haters. If you ain't got no haters, then you ain't doing uh, something right. But um anyway, uh, I was talking to Brad this morning. Like he told you the same thing, but he was like talking about like he know he can call us in the morning because he know we up early and he he like he was talking about real stuff. He like he like he proud of what we got going on because like he talked to us a lot of way. Like he like y'all boys be hustling, you know. But that's what it's about, man. Like you ain't, ain't no about to just talking stuff. It's about really living that shit like if you if you talk like i say and then come on this podcast talking to every week or whatever you can't come on this podcast talking talking to every week and stuff be out here not doing nothing not doing it. so yeah. like you know it kind of kind of give you that that extra drive to be like i gotta make it happen because like like i said you because your mind can tell you it could be two people listening to this podcast but those two people know what you're saying and then they're right. gonna look at you like you ain't making that job happen like you say you were so like <laughs> you gotta well, keep going yeah well you ain't yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So like, you gotta keep going, man. But like, I just, but just, just say about that junk. Like, we got, we got so much love for everybody. But like, I mean, we want to have all these people on the podcast and have a conversation if they want to come on here. Because like, we ain't ducking nobody. We we podcasters, man. We ain't no rappers. Like, yeah, y'all but, can... you, but you know, like another part of it is, is niggas don't be around good niggas all the time either. Yeah. So like, yeah, we we you know we gonna come at you with some some genuine type, just good nigga energy. But if you just around a bunch of slums all the time, you feel like everybody out to get you. So if you make a list and be like, who the hottest rappers? If you don't put my name on that list, I'm so used to being around snake shit. Now that you don't put my name on there, you a snake too. Yeah, you don't rock with me. If you don't, if my name, if you ain't mention me, you don't rock with me. But like, yes, yeah. I do. Like, you don't have to mention me. Like I said, cause when I see you in person, I'm, I, I know who you are. I do rock with you. I rock with everybody in Baseburg. Just like how like, I'm, I'm going with everybody black. I'm going with everybody from Baseburg and Leesville. Right. I'm doing that every single right. time. Like every time. Me. I, I love that's to see Sabrina, everybody. That's what Sabrina meant when she said home team, man. That's you what that mean. Like, like I can say, look, look, I'm, I'm watching T Will. Um, play yesterday. He had got hurt or whatever playing with Charles Southern, and like little Jai Tolan, um, 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 he played for Giver, but his people from Rich Brain and Baseburg. But like the crazy thing about it, my story about him, like he just always was in church with a headband on, so we just started calling him Headband Man, like from a kid. He only he don't re- he, he only remember this, but like he, he always had a headband that. on. But like I'm talking, he all he was the little freshest little kid headband, ever. Man. I'm talking, about his mama always had him in the head. He was so fresh all the time. I always had a headband on, and like we just started calling him a little Nike headband, headband Nike shoes on, yeah, and probably always. Nike sh- uh short suit on. Yeah. You know how. I- you keep the kid fresh and stuff like that always. Like, Everything like, matching. I'm just saying, man. Looking man. like he going to play basketball at the church. <laughs> church <laughs> league. <laughs> well, yeah, man. It's about Indeed. the whole team, man. But hey, like I say, again, if anybody want to come on the podcast and have a conversation, let's do it. We're trying to have these conversations. We're trying to yeah. provoke conversation. Fuck them niggas and they feelings, man. I featured on all them niggas and eat all them niggas alive. Okay, then. That was okay, Big Put Swag. Them on the album, then. Put them on the album. Big Swag. Put them on, on the studio, y'all. Right, they had tested me the other day. Like, we need to shoot the Korean video. They ain't got as much content as they got now because it, well, it was like, but even though with the like, like the um, you know, speaking of pod, y'all, it's a podcast. Like, I was watching the uh 85 South and they had Young Buck on there. And he was talking about like Jeezy, I mean, uh, TI and Ludacris. They both was battling against each other on the same song. So, if mm-hmm. it's B and you a rapper, shit, get it out, get on, it, wax, get it out on wax, get it out on got yeah, wax. Let's, so let's see what people say. Right, right. That's why I keep saying, like, let's have a conversation then. If you feel like yeah, you will slight it about something, cause like, that's why I, was, I, I just want to have an open dialogue with people because like, I ain't out here wanting no bad for nobody. If you got something to say, let's just say it because we all grown ups. It's like, it's no beef because you, because maybe something was miscommunicated or whatever, just say it a different way. Like, I ain't, I, I want everybody to see, but you got to put the work in to succeed. And like me personally, like I say, I shouldn't be at the, cause like we putting this content out. Why? Because we don't want people to have to go just, just go find our shit. I mean, you got to find it somewhere, but like, you got to put it out for people to see it. Like, if you just doing it, like, I'm spiced over here. Cause you and your yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. Bitch, it's gonna sound good on the podcast. With Swag saying that he'll kill them niggas on the verse, going into it for the people that don't, well, Swag don't really put out much music though, so they don't know how good the man music is though, but from like somebody that ain't in tune with your shit, they'll hear you say that shit and be like, this boy smoking some shit, yeah. he on dust or something. Yeah. But then, like, it's cool if you say it, but you got to get on there and do it too. And I think you know a lot saying? of people just record don't be ten in. songs this week. Swag drop drop an EP on that Alpha Music right fast. Yeah, do a it. A lot of people ain't in tune. I, 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 I gotta do though, really song. though. I feature on the cover yeah. song. I got time today. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Hey, I heard like y'all remember that meme when that white boy was like, um, 
uh something about he you wanted or something like that. You get it today or something like that. I forgot what he said, but he was like acting like real gangster or whatever. But he got killed this shit like that. Probably out here acting too gangster and shit. It was a meme or some shit like that. But like it was like, I got time today. It was like a white boy said, I got yeah, 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 he got yeah, killed. Yeah. I heard he got killed. And shit like that. Yeah. Man, I'm like, God damn. Hey, okay. Somebody yeah, had time, had time today. today. I say your time was right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, but yeah, yeah. That, that, I just had hey, talk about somebody before. else that time ran out was that damn dude on um, that was in on um, Columbia at his house. Got him out of here, man. Get off yeah. the summit, nigga. Get off the summit. That, that was so cool though, right? How on um, Columbia on um, pulled up. Hey, hey, them, hey, them niggas head turned like how on um, Carlos Bidlam head like head turned on um, on the Breakfast Club that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go, go, y'all, y'all. Like. Yeah, man, but damn, he um he just bullying that little boy, man. And you could tell that dude was scared. Like, buddy, probably every bit about five six, one forty five. Little man, and you you over here probably what six one two twenty five two thirty. About six three two fifty looking like. That's an old man, man strength. Yeah, like. He's scared of you, man. But hey, when why you yeah, come no, out no. and pulled up though? Nah, he ain't gonna pull up. He ain't gonna come out. Hey, they said like y'all got it over there. Y'all need to scoop, uh, stop by get some of these Broad River niggas. Don't go like, to the river. Y'all need us do that. Cause we we will. If y'all if y'all don't want no problem. But like I said, I he was a big guy. Though. Head, though. Man has a big ass feet, like a goddamn a white gorilla. Shout out to Drew. You look at his feet. No, nah, I'm saying this man. No, I'm saying if you look at him, he just was out there with no shoes on. Like no, sure. I ain't really I ain't really pay attention to his Bro. feet. But they yeah, were deep was... out there when they pulled up though. There. He was out there deep in that neighborhood, dog. He ain't want no problem. Nah, they said he got out of there, ain't it? He, he left. Yeah. He had to leave or whatever. He had that liquid courage at the time. Yeah. The police had to come pick him up so he wouldn't get hurt. Nah, yeah, yeah, cause they ain't arrested him at first or whatever. You know how that is though. Yeah. If it would have been a black person, you know he'd arrested. Yeah, he might have got shot. I saw um a black dude on Twitter said that was, that was his army sergeant. And he's like, shit, I, I could see those racist vibes, the racist vibes in him. I said, like, you can see it. He was from Idaho or whatever, but still, like, he was telling You're from like, Idaho? Yeah, but, like, thing, like, get out of here and stuff. Because, like, check this out. In the video or whatever, uh, he, he had, um, the white woman had asked him uh, where he stayed. And then he asked her where she stayed. He's like, don't worry about where I stay at. You just asked him where he stayed at, though. Like, <laughs> Right. She was like, that's none of your business. That's her privilege, though. You know, she got that privilege. That's exactly what I'm saying, man. Like that's why what, what it is this summer is a pull up summer, right, people? Now Tariq said, "This man, he eat out that candy, mouth full of candy." Right. Right. <laughs> mouth full, of, hey, he like mouth full of candy. Like now Tariq said, "Like just keep going, I gotta eat this candy right now, man." God damn it. But yeah, man, shout out to that. Shout out to on um, Columbia for standing up for our people, man. Now we, who will give the Navy Black award to you too? I yeah, mean, that's the Navy Black this week. Yeah, yeah man. You gotta damn. stand up for your people, man, because everybody out. There- Get you the white people out to get you, the police out to get you, and shit. It might be some haters out to get you too, man. You did, yeah, yeah, them niggas. Yeah, if I would knew about it. I'd have pulled up too. I probably around that area. I'd have pulled up over there. Yeah, I got time. Oh shit, yeah. I'd have pulled up, nigga. I've been out there with my signs out there, yeah. hollering and shit. And one like of that. the hardest signs I seen though, somebody had a sign that said, "Come outside. We ain't gonna jump you." <laughs> <laughs> come, come outside. Come we, outside. Gonna, we ain't gonna jump you. Hey, hey, come, oh, you heard that chant? They was like, "We want to make racists uncomfortable." They were like, "I want to do more to make them uncomfortable." Wait, yeah. I want like, to make a piece of them. Yeah, that's it. I thought it was a man out like here. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is It's just America, though. You know, like that's why I don't really want to stay in like a white neighborhood per se. A neighborhood full yeah, of whites. It ain't. It's like. It's just like it ain't never. It's always been like this. It's just like now they can sh- like people record. Yeah, it on camera now. It would have been a whole lot worse if it would have been like you know if it wasn't no, no camera. camera. He, he, you know, he if it wasn't on no camera, that white yeah. man would have grabbed Buddy by his neck, right. going straight to the concrete. Right, right. would have killed him because he was big enough to kill him easy, yeah, bro. Ain't no might yeah, 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 I know, ain't no might in it. That man was a that big was like, man. Like, hey, he stand up for himself. Though. I like the fact that he stand up for himself. He ain't like you know, act like a bitch. But he knew what was coming if dude, white dude wanted to do it now. Yeah, that, most black people we got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you got to or whatever. But I would say that's hey. basically the same situation Trayvon Martin was in. Like really though, like just trying to yeah. you, you just walking, trying to just get home or whatever. And somebody stopping you, telling you you ain't supposed to be in a place where they're gonna tell you you ain't supposed to be at. Because like I say, it's the privilege. They feel like they can tell you where you're supposed to be and where you can't supposed to be. And you know that's just where we live in, man. That's hey, why you making that shit seem like if you black and if you ain't in the hood, you in the wrong place. Pretty exactly. much. 
if, but if at, you come anywhere with, if you come anywhere with some nice grass and some decent houses, what the hell are you doing yeah, over here, boy? Be over here. Nigga. I pay good money to not see you. Yeah, I don't want to see you over here. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the real stuff out. though, Swag. So I pay real good money not to see you. That's, that, that's why I pay this good money. I don't want to see yeah, none yeah. of you. And that's why when I be delivering these packages or whatever to these people houses or whatever, I sit them on top of the car real fast. Look at Swag, look at that right his eye. But like, I see them on my car real fast. Just be like, hey, I ain't, I ain't, I got, I'm, I'm delivering, dog. I ain't got nothing to do with out here with no bull jump, man. Because I got these dreads and stuff. You got dreads. You know, you feel me? I, be, I, I let them know I'm out here for these packages, man. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. But that's yeah, what I'm saying. I, I feel like. I don't want to get busted on taking the package to the door and shit like that. Hey, this is this Amazon I got that. <laughs> you do got that vest over there. <laughs> yeah, I, I do got a vest. I was like, I ain't I ain't hey, got no vest. What you call me, Devin? <laughs> what you call me, Devin? Huh? A self-employed employee, <laughs> man. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I'm a self-employed employee, man. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. a self-employed employee, man. Hey, whoever yeah, need to work, I can, can do it for you, man. Yeah. I can do it for you, man. Easy work, man. That nigga sent me a um, picture of a DoorDash bag, man. That nigga, he'll DoorDash hey. Hey, get, get, get that money, too. That boy the screens already, ain't he? Huh? A lot of, he got a lot of screens, though. Right now, though. Screens, streams, Green, nigga. Streams. Oh yeah, those screens are stacking up over here, boy. I'm telling you, not that one. Say, when all the streams come together and they working right, that's easy money. Cause it's so much money out here, dog. It's just the easiest money you can make, man. Like, uh, I did, I did, I did, I done did one already this morning from nine to eleven. Like, yeah, I already made a hundred dollars before I did the podcast. Not no hard work. Like I said, I'm not tired. I just drove my car, man, and dropped the shit out. Man. Speaking of gigs, though, shout out to Jern. Happy birthday, belated birthday. Y'all think he signed up for it? Like y'all told him to do? Yeah, hey, no. He, he he probably had he probably had a busy week. It's his birthday week or whatever. You know, he, he oh, had yeah. to go to Denver solo, solo, dolo. He yeah. had to go to Denver. He ten toes down. That what he said? Happy birthday to Jern, man. More yeah. life. More yeah, life, for man. real. I had, I had, like I say, I ain't tweet happy birthday to German because I tweeted happy birthday to German from the Navy Black page. So I was like, I'm not going to tweet him from the Navy Black page and my page. I just went ahead and retweeted it. But I, I had, you know, like, like I say, German is a needed person on the podcast. I love having German on the podcast. Like, he's the perfect person for what he needed for on the podcast. Yeah. He used to one. I give him that. Boy, he used to. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> he, he sounds like he used to, boy. I, I got that slave. Boy, he good hand on the field, boy. It's funny, though, because, like, that, but, that's always, I ain't going to say it's all, but, like, kind of like in a foreshadowing, like, we were trying to get Jeremy to be our cameraman back in the day. Yeah, we were rapping. Dress. He yeah. was. You remember when we recorded yeah, that man. video? Yeah. Yeah, baseball. Yeah, yeah. We gotta record cream. Yeah, yeah. We gotta record cream, and then that's that's, that's when, yeah. and we gonna record cream, y'all. And then then they gonna have something to say about that because we gonna do that video. Yeah, let's do. I told you, man. We should do cream like how they did that damn no limit shit, man. Let's get the red, get jerseys and shit like we playing basketball, we're getting cream with the team, man. And had a whole hood out there on some goddamn make them say on type shit. Oh, um, hell though. It is hard as hell, because y'all got washed. I'm ready to. Record a new verse, old verse, all verse. I mean, first, 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 first. one verse, one hertz. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's over. I the cream like three days ago. Like, y'all boys got cooked. Who? It, it's easy to cook. It's easy to get cooked after you saw the other people make the food. That ain't my mm-hmm. fault. Y'all sent me out the whole thing. Y'all sent me the song and told me to get on it. Oh, but I'm just saying. That, that's how it was. So of course, if you don't heard it already, of course you about to make your shit fire because you don't heard the whole song already. Besides your verse, you got to add your verse to it. You can just keep, fucking just fucking just kill that shit. Like, I wish I, I got my wordplay now. All I, 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 I listened to was the hook. Okay, but it ain't matter though. <laughs> 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 no, that ain't matter though. This is this shit. Bro. I bet you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Cause you, for, for, I ain't gonna say for majority of it, but for a lot of the uh, dread squad shit, I was making the hooks. And so towards the end, we was doing three cool. You started making more hooks than mm-hmm. me. And so no. you had me had cream made. Yeah, so but listen this. So you should have been the one that had that yeah. fire because yeah. it was your song. My shit was fire, but like I said, what happened when I listened to my junk over, I wish I need to do it again, but like, it's just that. It's, it's too much stuff going on in the verse, in my opinion, at the um, start, but I, I, I closed off strong, but I do want to do it over. Fuck it, set a date, man. Let's 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 make a video. That's, that's real shit, man. Like shit. We got a beat sticker in the email. No, we, we gotta find a beat in the email, right? The beat in the email somewhere. Yeah, beat the beat definitely in the email. 
Yeah, let's do it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking ready. Right, man. Man. I can see that little grain in your face. Yeah, that, oh, that no, that don't make me happy because like we'll record that motherfucker on the eight six. I, was, I, I always thought about. I always thought like, where we gonna find a beat at? Because I don't know the beat at no more. The beat in the yeah, motherfucker. But, yeah, but yeah. if we got the beat, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. I had sent it to y'all. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 about, I'm about to re-record yeah. my verse now. Cause, hey, in the verse I say, I want to live amongst the the elite and the wealthy. That's what I'm still trying to do. Yeah, the wealthy and the elite. I'm still trying to do that to this day. You feel me? Ain't nothing changed. Oh, so it's just it's just big boy verse that need to be changed. No, I still no, I still want to kind of uh, smooth my verse out. You know, that, <laughs> you know, now that you say that, though, big, hey. it like at points of time in your verse, you was fighting to get through it. Though. You feel me? Well, I, yeah. I verse, how the verse start off for me? Yeah. Y'all said you want to change your verse, big, because you uh said you a bachelor, man, and you ain't no bachelor, ain't no, no bachelor more. No more. You off the market. My rap in my rap career, I'm a bachelor though. If your girl made you change it, just say that. Who <laughs> said that shit? Who said that shit? I ain't said that shit. What the fuck you talking about? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In my rap, in my rap, in my rap career, you know, you know, you got different. You're a different person in rap, so you yeah, gotta yeah. portray a bachelor just like Steve Urkel portrayed. He was way younger than what he really was, you know. Matter of fact, Jaleel White got a new weed strain coming out. Right, right that shit crazy. Yeah. Purple Urkel. Mm-hmm. Purple Urkel. Purple Urkel. Man. It, they were smoking like fuck on the show last night or whatever the boxing match or whatever. But like we becoming so like mainstream, like soon it will be legalized everywhere. I saw Jerm out there to um Spencer area, whatever. They don't get no better than that, man. Walking to the store to buy some yeah. weed. Hey, well, yeah. on snap. Yeah, I had some on snap. Yeah. It was in there. It was snowing like fuck out there, ain't it? I ain't said yeah, it. Was, I don't want to be in that crazy. type of cold shit. I don't want to be was, in cold. It was snowing. Hell Boy, yeah, like, that motherfucker. I'm talking about snow on the ground, boy. What, 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 Jeremy got me blocked on uh, Snap? That nigga said, fuck you, nigga. But I, don't, I, 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 I yeah. can't find him on my Snap. You probably said something out the way. No, nah, I ain't saying that. I, I just said, he'll he a bussy boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, on the thing, oh, like on the thing last week? What? On uh, Snapchat last week? Oh, yeah, yeah on Snapchat, on um, Swag, you had said, oh, fuck, on my Snap. But uh, I, you know, you, you didn't see my Snap when I you was on my Snap last week. Yeah, I seen your snap. That's what I was saying. I th- it was tight to see uh, y'all down there in Charleston. I seen you at the game. No, I was talking about, um, I seen my snap last week when I had you on my snap. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about it? Oh, I was just saying all that, but the snap before that when I told Jeremy he was a pussy boy. But uh, that's all I was talking about, oh, you yeah. know? <laughs> he didn't want to bring that back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, man, yeah. y'all, know good, y'all know I didn't even get the CD, though. I still ain't heard it since. Like, the, like I ain't even get the Duh, CD. No, man, I ain't get a damn CD up. And Mally was playing in his car yesterday. CD, yeah, Mally ain't giving it. That's the only one he got. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, burn it. Like, dog, burn it to Yeah, a, but you... Uh, huh? Y'all ain't had nothing to burn it with, did y'all? Yeah, we ain't had but no he, CD. His grandma, his grandma got a computer at her crib. He ain't even take no time to damn burn that damn shit. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, you need it. I ain't know you need it. I know he don't need it. Matt <laughs> Mallet on said he was coming on the podcast this week. He wanted uh, he wanted to say some stuff. Cause you know it all people was more mad at him than, than mad at us now. You know, cause like you know he in the burger or whatever. Said, buddy, yeah, but hey, I, at the same time I was saying like um uh, little um Trap G, you think about that though? Like everybody else mad and shit. He got names. So think about him. He like, yeah, nigga, he, yeah. Hey, I ain't feel a problem. I ain't feel a problem on the podcast. Bitch, don't y'all think he didn't trip like at all. Shout out to the podcast. Yeah. You bet. Uh, you know, I was like, yeah. oh, y'all niggas is up and it's stuck. Yeah. I'm up now. <laughs> he who, who say, fuck that podcast. He say, shout out to that podcast. Yeah, that I won. <laughs> hey, that was it. Like, you get real, name, but like, okay. Hey, but I, I got name. Nigga. Shout out to him for real, though. I seen him doing some shit yesterday, like picking up trash or something in the base bird or some shit. Oh, yeah, just yes. like that picking up trash. Yeah, like him and a group of niggas in the bird was like just picking up trash. Yeah, you know, trying to clean up community and shit like that. That's how it's all. Yeah. You know, that's real shit. Hey, next time it yeah. hit us up, include us. We won't in. God damn it. You ain't coming no charge of picking up some fucking trash. No, not trash, but I'll say you no, I will do that. Like if, if you let me know if, if you let me trash. No, no, I ain't saying the trash, but I'm saying I will give my time to a cause for people if they need oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But um yeah. I want to give my time to like teaching kids. Yeah. Trash, but like I said, he That's had what a, I said. Yeah, I mean you we get but that's what I'm saying. I could get my see somebody, somebody time is good to pick up trash with you. My time might be give my it was in my brain, you know. I just want to give us a little help, help to the community too. But anyway, man, let you me say all that to say you ain't picking up no trash. Right. Man. We know you're too pretty to pick right. up trash. It's man. cool, man. I'll pick up some trash if I have to. If, if somebody asked me to pick have. up some trash. Yeah. Hey, y'all man, may... you, got a, you got a position in your life where you financial enough to 
Not have to pick up no trash, man. That's okay. I'll be a trash man. I'll be a drunk remover guy. I pick up somebody trash. Now we need to get we need to get financial literacy implemented earlier though, man. They need to start teaching black kids how to save, man. What a budget is. I made this amount of money. It take this amount of money to live. I got this amount of money left over. I can save this amount of like you know. That's so real though because a lot of people in elementary school people do not know that. I seen I seen my, not my bad bit, but I seen some shit on Twitter the other day where this lady was like, I give my kids chores and I put dollar amounts on all the shit that they want, like snacks in the cabinet and shit. So I'm gonna give you a chore. This is how much you're gonna get paid for your chore. And if you go in the cabinet to see the snack and you want it, then you got your money that you gotta, it's monopoly money. That's but still, goddamn smart. Learning, yeah, you learning the concept of money. So let's say I give you $50 for, you know, raking up the leaves and shit. You go to the pantry, you see a bag of chips cost a dollar. You got your monopoly money. Now you know how money works. I go to work to make this money or do whatever kind of work it is that I can do to make money. And then yep. I spend my money how I want to spend it. But if I'm out of money, I'm out of money. Like I'm out of money. I gotta get those snacks. Get your go work. Got that's so that's, that's that's so smart to teach financial literacy. Like I said, you start that earlier with it, like with swag. Like you got a all time well, you too big well all time project, quote unquote. You know, like the just the and you got a boy swag, boy, boy. But you got hey, boy, boy, think about that. Be you can't have these thoughts that swag had, nigga. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's so good. If they want a boy, <laughs> he want a boy. You, can, you really, yeah, like, everybody, you... every dude want a boy though. Hell yeah, that's so crazy yeah. because swag. Not right got now, it, I want another kid right now. But no I want says, a boy though. The swag got it though, and like you can just hone him to be like the, the best you can be. Like I said, you you know you gonna be so much smarter than like I said like what the, 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 the knowledge your mama had. You got more not the internet connection is unstable. Oh God, but you got yeah, more very. <laughs> yes. I don't know what's going on. It's very true. Like, well, like, I mean, a I do have the internet right going up, but oh, hey, first, second of all, apartment. you see, I got, I got the um stuff behind me. I had to switch the background up. Yeah, you know, people say I need to be a better that background. That got nothing to do with your uh, internet. Yeah, though. My, my service will be better next time, though. But I'm just saying, what Swag gonna do his job? Cause he gonna be so much smarter. Like you be LeVar Ball out here, man. Yeah, low key. For real, mm -hmm. better. You yep. got knowledge. You know. You know. Hey, whatever he want to do. Not saying you got to force him to do whatever. Whatever. But whatever he into. He not even gotta be sports. But whatever he you into, you push it. it. Push it. Like, hey, you need. Yeah. You want to make some beats? Yeah. Let's give the beats. Right. He's still so young right now, but I'm ready yeah, to did. find out like what his niche is, though. You know what it is that you like to do. Yeah. But not everything you give him. Like he got a goal in his room. He got like so he play goal. He play goal. He play basketball. I'm gonna say <laughs> is that what you were saying that you say like, goal. <laughs> You give him a soccer ball, he'll kick the soccer ball. Like he like to drive trucks. He like like so. It's like well, what's he like boy stuff though. He like boy stuff though. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, but what's, what's gonna be the thing you like to do? I don't really want him to play football because you know with the CTE and stuff like that going yeah. on. But if he hey, choose boy. to play, I'm gonna be up, I'm gonna be behind him a thousand percent. <laughs> well, I know you want to play. But I don't want to say right. I'll be seeing him on your snap that he be on your back and stuff like that. It's it's so cool and stuff like this little my little man right here, you know, like it's literally me, mine. Like even though I mean yeah. you got another um, daughter or whatever, but like it's I mean that she means just as much. But it's but as a man, that boy, it's like hey, that boy is just different. Cause like hey, you be like, I ain't I seen that my, that my I boy. boy. Hey, Lord Mariah Mo, cause she a girl, and I know she needed, but with juice, I know it's like. Come on, nigga. I can put you like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, let, let's go, man. Let, like, he, he gonna be into the same stuff I'm into. Like, mm -hmm. I, yeah. like so I think I'm, about I'm, a business. Yeah, business right. is always like the last name and sons. They ain't never the last name and daughters. Right. You Sometimes know. Be, but like, yeah. no, yeah. But hey, I'll come. I'm at the game. I'm at the game yesterday. Um, Ken was seeing him get tackled. Like, mm, I hate that. I, that look like it hurt him. And no, that's football, man. You know, it do hurt him good. though. It do but hurt. No, like, get up, man. Get up. You, you get up by any just man shit though. But I'm saying I, I, I think that's so cool stuff. But man, you know I'm I'm like yeah, you, um, you get to vicariously like let him know what like say for instance if you want to play football every if you play football and you didn't go to that next level for whatever reason once you learn why you didn't go to that next level if he really gonna be on it you could just tell him all right check this is where I fucked up at we gonna do this this that and this and we gonna get there like, we and guess what there. most people mess up from not having to did the, the really um put their stuff out there because like we think I'm, i went to the game yesterday and like i know for a fact a lot of people on our team should have went to a, a college to play football because that, that's a that's not that's not the that's not the d1 
Cool, but that's like uh, F FCS, which is a it's good enough for me. But like I'm just saying, like, I see those players. I'm like, man, there's people on our team they could have definitely could have played for this team or the other team or the teams like these teams. Like we ain't have to go to USC. Yeah, we ain't have to go to like, Clemson. Right, three, 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 three on one team. Right. I, I ain't three on say one team. Huh? Three on one screen. On the scene. I mean, my bad. Screen, screen. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all boys smoking good over there. Man. I don't know. What are y'all think of uh, Gardner Webb or College of Charleston, man? What are y'all no, could have been there? But hey, um, it's Charleston Easy. Southern, but like, hey, College of Charleston, y'all, that y'all is like right in the middle of Charleston, like downtown Charleston. Like I'm talking about, you you won't even know it's the college. It's just like it's just in the middle of downtown Charleston. Yeah, that was the College, the college oh, of Charleston. Just sitting there too. Big, yeah. you got so excited though, not to switch topic, but you got so excited when we were talking about kids, man. What you waiting on, man? Tell I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on getting these stacks up. I need to get this money, man. Yeah, nah, yeah. fill up, shoot the ball. But it, it is, a, like I say, I, I mean, it's something like in it's got it, it, it happening. Hope it happens in, in life. Hey, 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 get out, nigga. Hope <laughs> that boy's struggling. I know, hey, like, right? hopefully, it, hopefully, it happens. On top of the spice, you got to do that. Hey, 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 I, I want a boy, man. Like, twin boys. Let me finish y'all off like that, man. I'm good with that. One and done. One and done. Shit. But I, like I said, I do want. I, I, in my opinion, I would want two kids. But that's just what I would want. But you know, you don't you don't get what you want in life. Or yeah, two, you get what yeah, you earn. two twin boys would be would have been great. You know, just I was talking. But like like I said, I only want two I thought, kids. I, I thought they said twins can't have twins. Yeah, that is true. I'm, too, just, I'm just saying, like the uh, the perfect uh, scenario. Yeah. If you just want boy, two boys, just have twins, boom, it's already over with. You ain't got to think about in, making no In my kids. opinion, like, like wait, 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 you and Swag, what Swag situation, what Devin Thomas said, he ain't thinking about that shit. But Swag, like, you have one more. I'm sure Sean want one more or, or you know, or three more or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, um, um oh, <laughs> yeah, I know you said you want that. We like how we all as men with our with our son. She, you know, yeah. of course, a lot of women be the same way with a daughter. But that's what I'm saying. I, in my opinion, so I think I should like not saying you know I ain't trying to be y'all bidding. I was like, trying to tell you what to do. I think I should have it right back to not back to back, but like close to the age. So y'all, yeah, that would be the best by. case scenario. Yeah, so I'm say about three years. Yeah, I'm gonna let Jews get body trained though. And then it'll be like me and y'all. Like it'll be a three year gap. Once he, yeah. has, you know, for real. I, I think like, I'm gonna I'm fill it up. <laughs> Go out, I'm fill up. I'm gonna fill up. <laughs> Gas ain't yeah. gonna fool, goddamn. Hey. Particulars <laughs> after she fooled. Shout <laughs> out, man. Up, man. Like I say, all uh, uh, your give her hard digging white fluid, man. Hard oh, digging <laughs> white fluid. Boy, what's Fresh wrong with that? Football, <laughs> what's wrong with that? Go um, girl. I think that was go girl right there. Yeah. I'll get hard digging some white hey, Ooh. fluid. Uh, Two so later, pocket full of hood is the stuff that I like a stutter. We'll like carry stunner, titty, on Twitter. Titty, titty. We give them the baby mama. That's why you give them the baby mama because you got that whole yeah. white fluid. That's all you give them. And then now you got to get your titty yeah. Speaking of real. <laughs> Speaking of real, yeah. nigga. Speaking of real, man. No lie to my ride, nigga. This my life, nigga. <laughs> this is the life. <laughs> but y'all get y'all social media. Y'all got something else to talk about. No, I ain't. What, social? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. got nothing else to say. Y'all got something else to clarify or clear up this podcast? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and IG at Devin Don't Care underscore snap OTG underscore 93. What's up, Swag? All platforms. I am so swag. Hey. How to spell? It's just like I assign. Two G. It's two Gs, though. But I mean, you know. He, he double G. I'm triple OG, though. So you can follow me at Y. The letter twin, just twin because P E Z. Oh, my bad. Wait, wait, wait. what? Wait, wait, wait. Z, 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 nigga. B, B, Z, C, Z. 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 Follow me at that. Follow me at follow me at that. Good. <laughs> follow, follow me at that. Exactly. <laughs> My mama said, yeah, you know, I was looking at Waterboy yesterday, man. Because you know, the Waterboy, he was like, uh, not only would I do it for you, coach. I, I, I do it, I do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but Boy, you can follow me on Twitter at the Money QB. 
IG gonna be the same one day. Follow Navy Black Podcast on both Twitter and IG at Navy Black Pie on Facebook at Navy Black. Might post something over there. Check me out, 803 flooring. You need the flooring done. You need the diabetes strips. You need me to show you how to get, how to do real estate, how to get this money, hustle of the year, giga of the year, four times in a row. Yeah, talk your shit. And this episode 67. Four times. Oh, hold up, hold up. Before that, NavyBlackPodcast.com, get a shirt. Merchandise on deck, you did. Merch is waiting for you. Yeah, nigga, it's waiting on you. Bring your value. That's your over podcast. Be a dude. Fuck that podcast. You know, next next week, week. hey, we back in studio next week. Check us out. We'll see y'all next week. You did. Like, subscribe, and follow the Neighbor Back Podcast on all social media platforms.